This is the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 36, verse 6, and it reads, Lo thou, tr Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed, on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand, and pierce it. So was Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahushai, Baha Shem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world evenly calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Baha Shem in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world evenly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is the deliverer. He saves. Baha Shem in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathim, listen and listen and learn in sincerity and in truth and in silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathim meaning sisters. Shalom meaning peace be unto you. Right, we're not going to make this too long. All right, this dude right here on the left, Professor Richard Werner, he's the one on the record of saying, this is his quote, CBDCs are a solution for a problem we don't have, and they want, they want the elites, the banking families, and they want to implant it under your skin, right? That's his quote, right? But, um... I'm going to listen to a sound bite. We're going to listen to a sound bite. Fair use, fair use, fair use. And then Lord will we attach some scriptures. Delaying, perhaps even preventing the introduction of CBDCs. They have, you know, they have literally delayed their agenda. Because I think it's so important to them. They've been very careful about the timing. And they've, oh, let's wait a little longer. Let's wait, wait a little longer. Let's have this crisis first. Oh, let's have COVID first. You know, soften them up. But they've delayed. Because the technology was really ready um, around 2015 to roll out. And what, what people don't mention is, what do these CBDCs actually look like? You know, um, at the moment, there's a bit of talk about this being phone-based apps. And yes, that is the initial phase. But what was already ready around 2015 is the ultimate goal, what they really want. Apparently, I was told by a central banker, is, you know, CBDC looks like a small grain of rice that they want to put under your skin, which is, in my view, a violation of human dignity. And they realize there is a hurdle. So <laughs> to, get people, to get people to accept this, there will be, you know, why, why suddenly all the billionaires saying, let's have universal basic income? Because the story is going to be, oh, now we've created, we've created this vast unemployment and, and uh, disruption and crises. Well, we need universal basic income. You will get uh, 2,000 euros into your account every month. But of course, to run this efficiently, we need to use the latest technology. So, you know, you, you need the CBDC uh, chip implant. But how many people will say, okay, fine, 2,000 pounds, uh, 2,000 euros? Many will say fine <clears throat> because they trust in the shadow of Egypt. Egypt being America, America the Great. Isaiah 36, verse 6. Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed, right? Two thirds of our people, these heathen nations, they trust in America, they trust in the system, right? On Egypt, we're on if a man lean, right, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, pursuant to Revelation 11, verse 8. We're on if a man lean, right, and people lead, the, uh, what, what did he say there? They're going to push UBIs, right? 2,000 euros into your, into your bank, bank account, but here, take this C-hip. We're on if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. Right. You want this UBI? You want to lean on us? Here, by the way, take this sea hip, this grain of rice, the Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. 
right? Remember, it says in Revelation 13, verse 16 on down, he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, free and bond. Everybody, man. Right? And Lord willing, we have the elect, because the elect won't be deceived, and the elect won't bow. The elect will not bow to the image of the beast. The image being the system. Whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, right? Babylon the Great, America the Great, King of Egypt, right? America, right? Their rulership, their banking families, their banking cartels, their elites. So is Pharaoh, King of Egypt, America, to all that trust in him, right? And everybody won't trust in this whore, man. Everybody's going to trust in this whore. Right? Minus the elect, Lord willing, we have that number. And this thing is here, man. This man said the technology has been in place since 2015, but they have to figure out how they're going to roll it out. Right? Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of resistance and noise. Right? But if you're beaten, if you're, if you're brought low and you need, and the only way you get your needs, your necessities, is by compliance, guess what? People are going to comply. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11. Lest Satan, right, the physical counterpart of the spiritual of the spiritual demon Satan, these Edomites, right, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, right? We are not ignorant of his devices. Lord, when we are the elect. The hopeful elect. Because the elect won't be deceived. So with that, stay prayer to pray without ceasing. Call Allah Yahweh. Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. Baha Hashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one of Ruwa who taught me this truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect.